Here's how to create a fillable PDF. Open your Word doc. This happens to be a fillable Word doc, but it could be any kind of a form. Here we don't have any under underscores, so we're going to underscore the form fields, and you'll see why later. Okay, so what I generally do is I I take one field and I double click my format painter and then I just click every field after that. So it's really quick. This is the fastest way to do formatting. So once I've done that, then I just do file save as and save it as a PDF. Then it will open in Acrobat DC for you. Um, in this one, your tools are over here on the right panel, and sometimes this prepare form is not showing, so just scroll down till you see it and click prepare form. It's going to say, is this a document? You say, yes, it is. And then it will automatically try to put in the fields for you. See that? Right? Now, if you have a blank there, it will take from the content very close to that blank to try and title that field. Okay, so for example, number seven, uh, Kamaha Kamakua. And so here's the name of the field. Here's a tooltip that's going to pop up when you mouse over the field when it's active. Right? But notice that on some of these, a couple of these, it didn't really work. And so if it does, just take the tooltip, if you're lucky enough to have one, and just copy and paste it in as the name of the form field. Okay. Now on this one, it was a little too high, I guess, and so it didn't know what to grab. And so I'm just going to put in here, one pay here, and I'm going to put oi. And the reason you want a unique name for each one, per here, pay here, oi, yeah, is um, if you have more than one field with the same name in a document, when you fill the first one, all of the instances are going to automatically fill with the same content. So generally not a problem with a single document, but when you start combining two or three together in a combined document, then it's going to tell you that whatever fields have the same name are going to get merged, and that's what's going to happen. And that works really, really well when you want to have the same information, such as the date or the name of the person who's filling out the form or, or whatever. Yeah. So in that instance, you want to replicate the form field in all of those um, throughout the document. Okay, but otherwise, you don't want that. So I'm going to make this longer. And you have to make these a little bit shorter because otherwise there's no white space between the fields. Right? Now, I want all these the same. But you can't grab, I don't know how, you can't grab them all and pull them out at the same time. And so here's the way to do it. Double click on one of them and it opens up the text field properties menu. Go to position. And not only left, right, top, and down, but also the dimensions of that field. So I'm going to copy the width, and I'm going to note that the height is 0.31 inches. Okay, so once I do that, I set this aside, and I go and I select all of the fields, and you can only do a page at a time, right? And then I'm going to paste the inches here, and I'm going to put the height of 0.31 inches right and so you notice all of them got reshaped okay now while I'm in here I'm gonna format them the first tab is general and here's where the name and tooltips go but they're all different and that's why it's blank now and then I'm gonna go form field I'm gonna like I like visible but does not print okay because otherwise I get these blocks on their final document when they print it the next thing is appearance I generally ignore these font size. What auto means is that if you have only a few characters, they're going to be, say, size 12 or 14 or something, okay? But the more you type into that one field, the smaller they're going to get if you hit the limits of the field. So if you type a really long sentence, the font will keep automatically shrinking, shrinking, shrinking until it gets as small as it can go. And that's convenient because we don't know how long, you know, the, the, the responses are going to be. But the problem is when you look at the form, they're going to have different size fonts throughout the, the answer fields. So it's up to you if you want to do that. So in general, maybe 10 or 12 makes a nice size. Helvetica, Arial are very clear. 
then go to the next tab here options and it's generally starting on the left and this is how the contents fit in the field so if you want them centered you change to center down here I take off check spelling because you don't want the Hawaiian words to come up as misspelled scrolling long text means there'll be a little scroll bar on the side in case they go more than one lines width and that's a nuisance to try and read later on, but if it's necessary, you, you don't have a lot of space and you're going to have more content, it's a good option. Um, if you think they're going to be three and four line, then you click multi-line and that'll make the words wrap. But make sure that the height of your field can accommodate that. Okay, so generally I take those off. Okay, and I say close. Okay, so now we have all of our fields and you notice they're selected because they're blue, but see the little line underneath to me that's distracting and so with all of them selected take the arrow key on your keyboard and just go down one or two pixels until you cover that up um they'll be still be able to see it when they're filling out the form but it won't print i don't think i don't know okay and then the next thing is on alignment notice on the right you can align the fields left right center if you like, you can align the content. Here, this is really nice, match size. So you can make all the vertical heights the same. You can make all the horizontal widths the same if you like. Okay, so that's, that's something that's very convenient. Okay, so once you're satisfied with what you have, then click the preview button and it opens in the fillable state. Okay, so I'm going to type a few things, few letters, and I always test a Kahako and an Okina to make sure they're going to display properly. Okay, I did it twice there. Okay, then I tab and enter one letter just to make sure that my tab order is correct and that they um, display okay. Then I hit tab backspace to take out all the content so that it won't be in my finished form. And then if I need to, I go back to edit, hey, preview, edit, all right? And then I'm able to edit further my fields. Now, if you don't have any lines or if you have something that's, um, well, if you don't have any lines, you can put in the fields manually and here they are up here. Okay, so generally it's a text field. So I just click that and it gives me a text field. I drag and let go and then I can format it as I wish just as we did above if you want to copy and paste you can um, copy and paste and then drag the fields where you want them and change the size the alignment whatever you want to do okay but the reason I say if you can get lines have lines in your original document is because if you'll notice all of these text names these these field names need to be changed Okay, up here, most of them were taken care of by Acrobat, right? This way you have to manually put in all the text, uh, change the text title. So anyway, just, just, it's an option, but it's generally easier to go ahead and put in the underlines. Okay, so that's how you do it. So you just simply save. And now you've got a PDF that, um, that they'll be able to fill and here's a very 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 important thing to tell them even if you can open a PDF and say this is on the web you have it linked in a website even though you open it in the web and you can fill it out two things might happen number one you can print it but if they close this PDF on the web the data is gone Okay, so they say, where's my data? I filled out the form. Well, the form was still on the web. Okay, the second thing is if they print from the web view, we found that sometimes the Hawaiian fonts, um, the Hawaiian characters get messed up because if the person doesn't have the same font on their computer, say Hawaiian Optimist, it's not going to recognize the special characters. And so the very important piece of instruction is download it first, save it, and then open it and work on it from your computer, and then you'll be fine. Okay, and that's it.